Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Um, in order to survive, we need to find Nagato's killer. That explains everything we're doing right now. We're doing the investigation of, uh, of Nagato. Here we go. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. All right, so we need to go investigate. Um, do we need to investigate the factory? I can't remember if that was one of the places that they said. I should have gone back and looked at the... In fact, I can I can actually go back and look because it's in the... Um, it's in here. So, let's see. Um, we need to search for them in other areas. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um... What, do they not? I thought they listed the areas. Um, but maybe, maybe they didn't. Am I dumb? Oh, here we go. Here's the areas. Okay, military base, plushy factory, the Zumi Castle, Nagato's room. Okay, got it, got it. So, let's check the truck first. Apparently, the bombs that were stuffed on this truck were actually fireworks, which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagato must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Um, okay, I also can't look at that. Oh, hello, Sonia! Didn't expect to see you there. Basket. The life-size Monokuma plushies are crammed inside an enormous basket. But it looks like there aren't any clues there. Uh, okay, laptop. That reminds me, when we saw Nagato's video message on this laptop... Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? No, it looks like this video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why do you have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. At the time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right. Beside that video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it is locked, then maybe there really, really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Uh, okay. Manufacturing equipment? I doubt it'll have anything. That's an enormous machine, but it stops for now. Looks like there's nothing related to the incident here. Yeah. Uh, alright, let's talk to the beautiful Miss Sonia. My! I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life! Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However... However, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off at the lobby might not have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing. A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! All right. Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Uh, hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Either way, it is all gravy! All gravy? What the hell does that mean? Stop! There's no bomb! Hey, you don't know, if you just pick me up, see? All you feel is a soft weight of cotton! I see. Hmm, I see. You are right. However, then where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. What? To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fake! Please wait. I, I know that already. You should have said that earlier. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Woo! I feel relieved! But if the bomb wasn't from the military base of the factory, then... You brought it from the octagon. Well... I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Let's try it! That is... D did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Alright, Moron Kuma's account has been added. Uh, let's check the break room. The break room's on the other side of the store. This is where we obtain the fire grenades. Anything inside? There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue, not even trash. Okay, good, they saved us time. Um, all right, is there anything else here? I don't believe so. Let's get out of here. That's done. We need to go to Nozumi Castle. We need to go to Nagato's room, and we need to go to um, um, the military base. Those were the three places, right? Okay, so the military base is on this island, I believe. It's right here, right? So we might as well check that while we're here. 
BAM! Here we are, Jabwok Army. If it's only three locations, maybe we'll get the investigation done in this episode and be ready for the trial next episode. We'll see. Um, okay, here we go. Truck! When I tried looking through the truck bed, it's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sony was telling the truth. However... And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. But did Nagato know the bombs weren't real? It's possible we thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so? Were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never would have been able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagato only do that to the expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. What about this truck? A huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed into the truck bed. Whoa! Ah, I found it! Hmm? What'd you find? Huh? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife? Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagato's right hand? Maybe. Which means the killer obtained the knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. That's everyone though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Uh, Tink? If the bombs are fake, this might be fake too. But I'm not brave enough to check for myself. Okay. Good. Helicopter. This is that dreadful helicopter, the one that escaped the territory. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Um, nothing else other than Kazuichi? Alright, Kazuichi, what's up? Man. Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's no one in this island who can do that. Oh, okay. Pretty simple then. Not too difficult. Okay, next up is the um, something. The, uh, I don't know what's next, but uh, it's either Nezumi Castle or, um, or Nagato's room. So Nagato's room is the furthest one away, so I'll go to Nezumi Castle. And I'll, I'll, I'll go there, I'll go there quickly this time. Okay, I'm not gonna go slowly. Um, so it's on island, is it on island three or four? I'm gonna guess it's four, because I, I don't, I don't think it was that late in the game, you know? Yeah, okay, here. All right, good. Nezumi Castle is right here. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Nezumi Castle. All right, let's just go straight in, I guess. No reason to mess around out here. Interior. Is there someone in here? Fuyuhiko. My boy. Spear. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. This spear is it's definitely it, right? I see. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagato. The same whip-like cords attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hm. There's no mistake in it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of gun gear, huh? Monokun would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why'd the killer use the spear and a knife? Well, yeah. Yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife, and it would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this would be on, with with this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm not feeling the strange feeling that I've never felt before. I'm feeling the strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagato is trying to make us suffer, even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated this cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. All right, let's go. Oh, wow, so th we're done here. That was the game telling me, like, hey, you investigated one thing in this area. That's all you need to investigate. Now Nagato's cottage, here we go. All right, we're on our way to Nagato's area. I I forgot when Nagato's area. I just got an achievement called Nice Calves. Uh, break through 10,000 total number of steps. Okay. 
Uh, that's a that's a lot of steps. Oh, hey, you guys are right outside the door, huh? Hey, Chiaki, how you going? Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime. What's this? Oh, my. You want to go inside Nagato's room, too? What are you going to do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagato's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Um, I didn't do that. Boy, then do loud. it! It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. Now then. <laughs> See? I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why did that door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized? Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Cottage, Nagato Kamaeda. Eh, pretty normal cottage. So Nagato was leaving here. What was he thinking inside that room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Alright, treasure box. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkly pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, uh, could this be? I just saw the hidden monokum on the right. Can you let me know if you find my treasure? Here's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights! Perhaps that treasure box. Chiaki, you know about this? Yep, it's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monomi was talking about was Nagato. But why would Nagato steal this? In order to find out... It might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it... gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important, Nagato wouldn't have stolen it from Monomi in the first place. I turned back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it? Why is there a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leaving through it. It contains sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children, and entries that look like children scratch. Chicken scratch. Dear one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today so everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? Um, looks like it. Did Monomi write this? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day 3, day 4, day 5, page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. Day 16! We've been in the funhouse for three days! Everyone's hungry and on edge! Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today! He's probably panicking because no one believes him! Huh? Hey, hey, Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop! <laughs> hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa. From out of nowhere, Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my mind. And... I won't forgive you. Whew, I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If he had come any later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here, um, then... Nagato was the thief? No! Be betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student! Hey, hey. Hey. That notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? The diary? Um. Uh, um. It seems that way. Ta -da! Th that's right! This is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written! Hey! Hey, hey! You're a liar! Ooh, uh, uh, well, well, you always show up out of nowhere! Monami, it's not good to lie, you know! lie. There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah. After all, Monami can't even write. Huh? What, what, what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. That's wrong. No, you can't because you have no fingers on your hands. Yeah. Ah. 
See? Bullseye! I know, because I'm the same way, too. <laughs> huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey. So that's what this is about. You, you're seriously trying to crush me. What are you mm -hmm. saying? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. <laughs> it looks like... The time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, uh, I don't know what you get, why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Mm -hmm. Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? Uh -huh. If so, who wrote in it? Um, um, well, well, well you, you, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, uh, how should I put it? Bye -bye. Uh, excuse me! Send me what's in! Hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really want to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Obtain truth bullet. Monomi's notebook. Um, okay, let's quickly grab this in Monogame while we can. Hi! No. Monocoins. 250 monocoins. I don't know I had that many. Um, bed. It's the bed that comes with the cottages. It looks just like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under this bed. It's the usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Well, we should still check just in case. With no exceptions, expectations without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... Huh? There is something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. What is this? Um... It looks like... A gas, a gas mask with rubber gloves. He was ready for COVID. These look like the real deal. Does he get these from the military base? A gas, I keep saying gas. Gas mask and rubber gloves. He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagato use this stuff for? Gas mask and gloves. Hajime. Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Uh, let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and Huh, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum? A round and thick piece of aluminium, huh? I'll just have them both say the word differently. It's similar to those seals that go over jars of op unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait, huh? Time out. It might be too soon to decide that. A piece of blue paper. Bam, bam, bam. Refrigerator. There's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagato probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Did he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talked with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Huh. There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown hmm. bottle. Huh. For someone who likes cold drinks... It doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Really? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death? Hey! This is- Maybe? Yeah. Looks like it's poison. P poison? <gasps> looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it with a little more detail. But, but be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry like that, I'm going to get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its vola volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in a minute and it is susceptible to hydrolysis. Hydrolysis, sorry. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Hmm. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagato get something like this? Well, that question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Nagato was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison. He must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere in his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? 
Jeez, how dangerous. What? What do you have done if you accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb we took with him to the lobby. At the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? It looks like the bottle's less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagato use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Uh, another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you died? Wanna give a special poison? Do we just talk to her now? Hmm. Our time for investigating is winding down. So the bookshelf might take some time to investigate. We should try examining other areas first. Wait, oh, I didn't even realize there was a bookshelf. There are lots of books and other mysterious items stuffed on the shelf. The genres and the types of items are also random. I can't make any sense out of them whatsoever. Well, they say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Hmm. I definitely don't know much about Nakato just by looking at this. So what do we do? It'd be def difficult to look through all these piles. Hmm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Wait, what? Um, it's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff here. Well, that might be true, but... See? So, I'll leave the shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realising it. I sighed and walked toward the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items, examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there was still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Huh? Well, that file wasn't the only one I... Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That, that seal. Indeed. It's the school badge of Hope's Peak Academy. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Nagato said this only contained information about me, but... Is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and, he had, no, and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies too. I opened the file and held it in my hand. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why is this file so thick? She thick. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Nagato had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about the others, Kasuichi, Fihiko, Akano, and Sonia, and everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe you'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of us, it might be a lie too? I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information, such as my date of birth, my height and weight, and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Uh, well, I just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagato was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Chiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. <laughs> it's such a cute picture. You're right. My profile is really in here, but unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, hold on. Huh? Huh? 
What happened? I, I just noticed it right now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name wasn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the Killing School life at Hope Speak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island. No matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the Killing School life... Too bad. It's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A, a different reason? You're getting all How should I put up. this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Byakuya for no reason. Which means, the great mystery that you, th you think surrounds Byakuya doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the you don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through these profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned to the back of the file. Back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Byakuya's true identity. True identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami. A, a fake? The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent! <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. Th that person wasn't really Byakuya Tagami? Perhaps. Is that why he was much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So <laughs> cool! His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. W what? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you are so bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent, regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. W what the hell? Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. Then. What was he trying to say to me at that time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time in my life it's been a living hell. Hmm. Based on the context, if I had to guess. No, no. Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth. It's nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meet meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Host Peak Academy, you should have already known about the Ultimate Imposters already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Jeez, that future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Maybe. So, it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey. Um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by fu the Future Foundation, not a student from the Whole Speak Academy. You, you made a fake profile for the traitor, 
and included it in here? Correct. It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagato too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Host Week Academy file. <laughs> It's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure Was that a wise this? decision? Time's up, you know. T time's up. Wait. Bye. Excuse me for a moment. <sighs> that time just now. What <laughs> is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. <laughs> so, time's up. What a funny way to do it. We that will line. begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll see you soon. The last class trial. He said that, right? He said last class trial. Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. W what do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days. And he said something about a killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But still... But I can't imagine that it's a real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. A class trial for Nagato's murder? We're pretty screwed. <laughs> I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagato. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah. If we do that, things will turn out fine. Okay, I'll use that opportunity to uh, take a break, and we will see you next time for probably the trial. See you then.